Off it, everybody, and welcome to another edition of E Estoriata. Over the last several weeks, we've introduced you to a number of delegates that are representing Guam in the upcoming Festival of Pacific Arts. In this episode, we tell you about the history of FESPAC and why it's so important for Guam to share its story. Half a day, my name is Joseph Artero Cameron. I am the president of the Department of Chamorro Affairs. As head of the government agency responsible for preserving and promoting the Chamorro heritage of Guam, it's only natural that Cameron serves on the coordinating committee for the Festival of Pacific Arts. He says planning has been ongoing for several years. Some years ago, Guam um, put in a bid for hosting the Festival of the Pacific Arts. Uh, as we know it here in Guam is FESPAC. And of course, uh, we're nearing in on the very uh, tail end of all of our logistics and all of the things that we're doing to prepare. The most exciting part uh, to this whole event is the fact that Guam has an opportunity to actually tell its own Chamorro story, and that's very important. The first ever Festival of Pacific Arts was held in Fiji in 1972. From there, the festival has traveled every four years to 11 other countries in Oceania, including in New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Tahiti, Australia, Cook Islands, Samoa, New Caledonia, Palau, American Samoa, the Solomon Islands, and now Guam in May. It's very important that we do that. I believe that this is a shining moment for Guam to share who we are as a people and what it is that we have culturally that is pivotal and very important to share with other 26 island nations. And being right here on Guam, uh, it speaks volumes for those who actually need to come to Guam and see Guam, not just in picture, but to actually experience uh, the hospitality of the Chamorros and everything that we stand for in the cultural perspective of things. Although Guam shares cultural similarities with other island nations, FESPAC also provides a platform to showcase our uniqueness. Guam has a story that is to be told during this festival that has differences from all the other 26 island nations. I believe that opportunity will abound itself here and that they will be actually able to go to various sites of Guam to actually see uh, more about Guam and how the culture is integrated into the land, uh, into the stories of the people, and all those who are participating, especially when they start seeing how friendly our people here are in Guam and how inviting they are, and the spirit of esprit de corps, teamwork, and more importantly, the sign of respect and the sign of getting always getting along with each other. That's something that all island nations share as well. So there's going to be some similarities as to the island living. That's to be uh, taken into consideration that there are similarities. But more importantly, I think we need to pull out the Chamorro story specific to the Chamorros. Every Pacific Island nation has a specific expression that differs from the other. And that expression will be that the Chamorros will have this grand opportunity to share that expression right here on Guam. It makes a big difference when, when you're away from Guam and you don't have the natural fabric or the backdrop, so to speak, of a, of a sense of place. And I believe having a sense of place uh, builds on the story of the Chamorros. So it being just right here in Guam will build that. Uh, the icons of Guam are a little sprinkle here and there uh, with the Laddie icon, uh, the Katupa, uh, the various things that sets us aside on what we express as art to be and how the elders are involved in the artistic expressions and storytelling, in publications, in crafts, and all the many myriads of disciplines 
that make up this fabric of who the Chamorros are. The Festival of Pacific Arts was envisioned by the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, or SPC, as a vehicle to share and exchange culture as a means to stop its erosion. During FESPAC, Guam will focus on traditional arts, literary arts, performing arts, visual arts, and forums, workshops, and seminars. Under each committee are multiple subcommittees ranging from carving, canoeing, publications, history, song and dance, children's art, film, culinary arts and indigenous languages to name just a few. The outpouring of interest has been tremendous with 500 delegates including Chamorros who live off island returning to represent Guam. The disciplines that have uh, moved and catapulted forward have been meeting for several years. Uh, they have experience in past festivals. Uh, what has happened in Guam is it's grown in numbers only because we want to not just have 150 like we had in the past festivals being sent to another island nation that's hosting. So the fact that Guam, uh, the, the locals are here already, what that does is it doubles the amount of participation. And they have been meeting regularly, uh, most especially on Saturdays. Uh, moving forward all their their expressions and how they want to plan and actually make happen during the festival. Cameron encourages island residents to take advantage of this opportunity to attend FESPAC. I think it's very important that our locals here uh, take an opportunity after working hours because a lot of us do work to come out to the festival site and actually experience an on-hand opportunity that otherwise would have taken you a lot of money to go to each island nation. We're looking at these 26 other island nations coming in and that opportunity will not abound again ever for a long, long time. If this festival is once every four years, it's perceivable that the next time that Guam will host will be another hundred years because it, it moves around from one island nation to another. So shame on us if we don't show up because it's going to be right here. Good for us when we do show up because we get to learn a lot, lot more of who the other Pacific Island folks are. And it also gives us a wonderful plan that one day we will visit them too. And so when folks here in Guam are looking at vacationing, uh, certain things that piqued their curiosity of a particular island nation will probably more than likely, uh, it's like a marketing tool. Uh, folks will have a takeaway and they'll say, okay, I want to be at that island nation or I want to go there for my next vacation. So yeah, a lot of this is going to be a great marketing tool not just for the locals here in Guam so that we actually expand out throughout the globe the Guam story but also for those who are visitors here they have this grand opportunity of evolving every four years a marketing strategy that allows for people to actually see in person their expression of art and culture. She's a teacher and a talajera. We'll share her story when Ia Soriata continues after the break.